Hello everyone, welcome to session 3 of module 3, Defect Life Cycle in Jira. In this session, we will learn about the defect workflow in Jira. So once you log a defect, it progresses through the defect life cycle until it is resolved and available to test analysts to verify it. So this session will be mostly for understanding various phases that are available in JIRA defect workflow or issue workflow. So in order to start with, the first thing that you need to do is you need to first find the issue that for which you want to basically go ahead with the defect workflow. So in the type, we can select just bugs and we can choose this first defect that is available. So if you see the status of this issue is open here and if you'll open this workflow, this is the default workflow available for issues in Jira. So right now the status is open. It can be directly resolved. A move to resolve state if it has been fixed, it can be closed from, from open it can be directly closed or it can be assigned to the developer and he can start the progress or he can start working on it. Once it is in progress, it that once the developer has fixed the issue, he can move it to resolve and once it is resolved, it will be available to test analyst to verify whether the issue has actually been fixed or not. Once it is verified and test analyst finds that issue has been fixed and no more uh, and exists no more, he can close the issue. He can move the state from resolve to close and the issue will get or the defect will get closed. If test analyst finds that the defect is still seen and it is not been fixed properly, he can reopen the defect and it will be moved to reopen state and again assigned to a developer to work on it. So this is this is the default workflow that you can open for any defect and look at it and understand how it works. So here it's an open state so it's assigned suppose it's assigned to a developer he'll click on start progress and it will move to in progress so in progress shows that he's working on it. Once he has finished working on this issue, he'll mark it as resolve. And he'll say resolution type as fixed, won't fix, duplicate, incomplete. So depending on what the resolution he provides. So suppose he fixed it and you found this defect on 1.00 and he fixed it for uh, the version 1.0.1 and he'll assign it back to test analyst or who, whosoever has raised this defect. He'll provide the time spent as say three days and he'll provide the date started and the date started and if there are any comments he'll provide it into the comment section and just click on resolve. And now the status of this issue will be changed to resolved. So resolved means that the issue has been fixed and now ready to be verified by the test analyst. So once the issue has been resolved, so you can search by the status as a test analyst you can search the resolved issues and it says fixed and you can go ahead and verify so you can just open the defect and see the corresponding test case against this defect and mark the defect as verified so once it is verified you can close the issue provide your comments it's verified and close the issue and the issue will be moved to 
closed. So this is the basic workflow of Jira defect lifecycle and how you can basically move how the defect moves from open state to closed state. So in this session you understand the Jira issue workflow and how the status or the defect moved from the open state to the closed state. Thank you.